The decision is made. You are going to invest in making your company more sustainable. But what's next? Your manager has asked you to calculate emissions for all processes in one big Excel file. It's driving you crazy. Do you recognize this? Then keep on watching. Hello, my name is Nick. And my name is Kilian. We're supply chain consultants at McCoy & Partners. And today we're going to show you McCoy's proposition for helping organizations become more sustainable. In this video, we'll show you why SAP and sustainability are the perfect match. We'll also share our three-step action plan to make your organization more sustainable. We'll start this video with our belief that SAP and sustainability are the perfect match. Because all data and processes related to sustainability are already managed in SAP, it plays a crucial role in capturing and controlling circular processes. By streamlining the entire supply chain, manufacturers can improve collaboration with suppliers and extend inventory life to reduce their carbon footprint. In this way, you'll not only reduce costs by making your processes more efficient, but it will also contribute to lowering your total footprint. So it's clear that the basis for all footprint calculations is your ERP system. At McCoy, we use this foundation to make reducing your footprint simple. That's why we call our proposition Simple Footprint Reduction. Simple Footprint Reduction is all about simplifying your sustainability actions. From providing insights into your emissions, to converting it into a strategy, and ultimately executing that strategy. Hence, a three-step approach. The first step is assess, providing insights into your current emissions. In the assess step, we use the latest technology from SAP called product footprint management. This allows you to map out all emissions within your supply chain, both for your purchased goods, as well as your inbound and outbound logistics and your internal operations. So what does this look like? In product footprint management, you bring all the data of your products together. Based on your stock and in and outflows, you know how much you have purchased or produced. With root data, you can map out how many kilometers of transport has been completed. And through task lists and part lists, you know which machines have been running and which components have been used. Together with your purchased energy and overhead emissions, this forms a holistic picture. You can also retrieve how many emissions a purchased product has cost from a linked LCA database, so that you or your supplier do not have to collect the data yourself. Sounds good, right? It gets even better. In the second step of simple footprint reduction, called Analyze, you will evaluate the collected data and define the greatest opportunities for improvement. This will result in an improvement strategy. With the help of the sustainability control tower, you will gain insights into the emissions of your products from insightful dashboards. This analysis will enable you to form a strategy that can be converted into concrete actions. After analyzing your data, it is time for action, which is step three of simple footprint reduction. The backlog has been determined and you start implementing sustainable best practices. If your data shows that a lot of emissions are caused by purchased products, it is important to take action. The emission data calculated in product footprint management is sent back to your S4HANA system where you make your operational decisions. For example, you can see what the emissions are per product per supplier. You can then choose to purchase more from the supplier that emits the least CO2. This data is also displayed in your purchase requisitions so that you can make the right decisions on the spot. As we said, next to these operational decisions in S4HANA, you'll start implementing sustainable best practices. You have developed a whole range of them, and with these best practices, we help organizations to become more sustainable based on the principles of the circular economy butterfly. With this, we ensure that end products and components do not follow a linear path, but a circular one, a sustainable one. McCoy & Partners simplified reducing carbon footprint by leveraging data and processes from your ERP system. The three-step approach, assess, analyze and act, enables your organization to become more sustainable. We are so enthusiastic about this topic that we are even organizing an event about it. 
During our sustainability event on the 20th of October 2022, we will guide you through pragmatic and innovative solutions in S4HANA. During the event, we will discuss the sustainable best practices in SAP S4HANA and show them with demos. Please subscribe through the link down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos on our channel. Cheers.